All right, hey everyone, welcome back to another lecture or a short video of Salesforce Bytes. And in this video, we'll talk about storage usage, right? Storage usage or storage limits are basically a limit defined or rather governed by Salesforce in terms of resource allocation and what kind of limits you should have in terms of the file size, the data storage and all of it, right? If you have to check what are the governor limits or what are the storage limits for your org, what you can do is you can go to setup and you can simply type in storage, right? And when you do that, you see this option storage usage and this shows you your org's storage usage, right? Now we are currently on a free developer edition org and that is why we see that the data storage limit is 5 MB, mayor 5 MB, file storage is 20 MB, right? And then you have some space for big object storage also. So 5 MB for data and 20 MB for file out of which this is the percentage of uh, data that has been used, used right now and this is the percentage of file storage that has been used. So this page shows you the data storage based on individual objects also. So if you see opportunities are have 32 record count which is contributing to 64 KB of storage which is 16% of your total storage, right? And, and you see that this is in the descending order of the storage being used. Right now, these are the ob objects that are contributing to the storage limits or storage usage for my org. And then down below, I see for, uh, a section for file storage. And then I see a section for big, ob big object data also. In terms of users, which user is contributing or uh, using more of the resources in terms of storage, you see that uh, descendingly ordered also. And then the same is for data and for file. All right, so you see uh, the entire metrics in this single page and how do you understand what is the limit of an org or what is the limit of a particular uh, edition? So you have to be aware of the edition that your org is currently in. Like I told you, this one is a free developer edition org that we are using for our practice and hands-on assignments or any kind of uh, use cases. So you see this limit right here, which is 5 MB and 20 MB, right? If I take you to the documentation, this documentation has basically all the storage allocations per edition, right? If you notice, this is the developer edition, which is the free one. And as we saw, we have the data storage limit of 5 MB and the file storage allocation per org is 20 MB, right? Now, if you see for editions that are paid, editions that are purchased, for example, unlimited, performance, enterprise, professional, right? These guys have data storage minimum, which is similar for developer, but this is 10 GB here. And then you have also something that's called allocation per user license. So for every license, you get a specific set of data storage allocation also. Similarly, for file storage for our developer edition, we had 20 MB and here you have 10 GB for all of these editions, like file storage allocation per org. But then again, per user license, there's a separate allocation that is 612 for these three guys right here. And then for the remaining enterprise performance and unlimited, which are most of the Salesforce orgs purchased by clients, it's two GB per user license, right? So you can take a look at the license uh, limits here and uh, edition based uh, storage here. And you can always go to your org and see that, you know, if you are reaching a limit, you might have to do some level of cleanup. This happens when a project is like, you know, uh, getting old and uh, a lot of data is inside. So what the clients do is uh, instead of slowing down the system, they want to clear out or, you know, clean up or take a backup or, you know, archive their entire data. So they take out or extract their attached and then they start out fresh. So the idea is to understand the limits and the percentage used here. And if you surpass the limit, you get some uh, uh, warning emails from Salesforce and then you either have to upgrade yourself or you have to uh, clean up your org, right? So that was all about storage usage in Salesforce. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Now this, this page shows you, this page shows,